Percentage might sound like a scary topic, but don't let your mind run wild. Just think of percentages as a special type of fractions where the denominator is always 100. Because that's exactly what it is. Here are a few examples. One thing you have to get used to is identifying which item should be taken as 100% when comparing two items or more. To figure this out, just ask yourself which is the original or reference amount. That should be the amount taken as 100%. Sometimes this isn't clear, and you will have to rely on certain phrases to tell you which item should be taken as 100%. Look out for the words, then, and percentage off. The items appearing after these words should be taken as 100%. Let's try some examples. This question says that Rose has 40% more beads than Eric. Here, it is not clear who has the original amount. Should Rose be assigned 100% and Eric 60%? We can rely on the word. Then, in this case, recall that the item appearing after this word should be taken as 100%. So Eric should be the one who is assigned 100%. Since Rose has 40% more, then she should be assigned 140%. The question then says that Rose has 20% less beads than Don. You might think that since Rose has 140%, then Don has 160%. This is wrong. Remember the rule. Don appears after the word, then, so Don has 100% and Rose has 80%. How is Rose 140% and 80% at the same time? This is because Don is the reference amount in the first case and Eric is the reference amount in the second case. So we can use ratio to solve this question. If any of the steps I am about to do looks unfamiliar to you, pause this video and check out the video on ratio, one item unchanged first. I will leave the link in the description box below. Come back to this video when you are done. The ratio of rows to Eric is 140 units to 100 units. The ratio of rows to Don is 80 units to 100 units in the second case. To make this easier, we can simplify both sets of ratios. Notice that we can just strike off the zeros to divide by 10. Now, we know that rows should be the same in both cases, so we have to find the common multiple of 7 and 4, which is 28. So we multiply the left side by 4 and the right side by 7. Finally, we can see that the ratio of rows to Eric to Don is 28 to 20 to 35. For this next question, we need to express the girls as a percentage of boys. This is another situation where the original amount is unclear. We have to rely on the phrase, percentage off, to tell us which amount to take as the original amount. As boys appears after, percentage off, we know that this should be taken as the reference, or original amount. This is similar to fractions where the item that comes after the phrase, fraction off, is taken to be the denominator. In fact, an easy way to solve this question is to first express girls as a fraction of boys and then convert this to percentage by multiplying by 100. We know there are 40 girls because 50 students minus 10 boys will give us 40 girls. Taking 40 over 10 times 100 will give us 400% as the answer. Note that in your number statement, you have to write the percentage symbol after 100. But when you type this into your calculator, leave out the percentage symbol or you will get back the same number. In this question, it is easier to identify the original amount. The question states that March was a 20% increase from January, so this indicates that January is the reference point, or original amount. Simply put, January is to be taken as 100%. This means that March is 120% of January. So if 100% of January is $2,000, we can first find 1%, which is $20. Notice that to find 1%, I divide 100% by 100, so I have to divide $2,000 by 100 as well to ensure that the values on both sides of the equal sign remain equal. This prevents confusion, because many students tend to get confused about whether to take 2,000 divided by 100 or to take 100 divided by 2,000. We can use the same technique to find 120% of January, which is $2,400. This last question is another example of where the original amount is more obvious. The question requires us to know the percentage decrease in the number of boys, so the original amount has to be the number of boys at first. Similar to the second question, we can first find the decrease in the number of boys and express that as a fraction of the number of boys at first. 
Then we can simply convert that fraction to a percentage by multiplying by 100. 3 over 15 times 100 gives us 20%.